Hello everybody, I'm a student representative from Fuha Secondary School. Our team has actually created a board game and I'm going to introduce it to you. It is named Lucky Money. Now on to introducing the property card. Whenever the player lands on any property, he or she will have the opportunity to invest in it. They will have to pay an amount of money to invest and own the property that is being displayed on the card itself. For every round, the player will uh, get a profit that is actually stated on the card also. If the player ends up being bankrupt at the end, he or she can sell or trade the property with another player to get money. Now I will continue introducing the occupation cards. Whenever the player lands on the job agency square, the player gets to choose which occupation he or she wants to be in. There will be an amount of money to pay to be hired for the occupation and it is displayed on the card itself. For every occupation, the player would have a salary given to them by the bank after every round. If he or she does not have any occupation, the bank will only pay them a sum of $250 after every round. Now, I'll introduce you to the last set of cards, the lucky cards. If the player lands on the You Got Lucky Square, the player must take the top card from the deck and follow the action that has been stated on the card taken. The player must complete the, deck, the task and return the card to the bottom of the deck. Now on to the different squares on the game board. Start. If a player lands or passes over this square, the banker will pay the player $250 if the player does not have any job. For players with occupations, the player will receive the salary stated on the occupation card. Now on to the job agency. If the player lands on this tile, he or she will need to select an occupation uh, card from the, the occupation deck. Now income tax. If the player lands on this square, he or she will need to pay 20% of his or her assets to the bank. You got lucky. If the player lands on this tile, he or she will need to take the top card from the lucky deck and follow the action that is stated on the selected card. Once the task is completed, the card must be placed at the top, at the bottom of the deck. Go to jail. If the player lands on this square, he or she must go straight to jail. The player will lose 3 turns before he or she is released. However, the player will not receive any amount of money from the banker when he or she pass or lands on the start. Now on to pay your price. If the player lands onto the pay your price square, the player will have to spin a wheel consisting of the names of the properties. If the player wants to stop at a property that is being bought by others, he or she will have to pay the player 50% of the cost of the property to the buyer. We hope you have enjoyed playing our ball game. Please support us by going to our Facebook page to post positive comments. Thank you for your attention. Bye! So lucky money! Yeah! Firstly, is the You Got Lucky Hub. Secondly, it is the Pay Your Price. Your oh, price is nice, there. you say it's property. Uh. Never mind, never mind. Now for the property hub. The, uh, the, they will have to pay an amount of money to invest and own the property. One doing this, one doing that. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> the property cuts with the other players to get to get and then let them all to get oh. Hey, we're calling it. It's an SD card slot Oh, it is Oh, that one Just continue, you say Just continue, you say Just continue I don't cut these to invest in it They will have to pay an amount of money displayed on the card itself or to invest Wait, Whenever the player hey, wait, wait. Hey, <laughs> now on to introducing the property cards. Whenever the player lands on any, you covering the thing. <laughs> oh